Welcome to New Poké Sports and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 10 video. Bring you the Solgaleo team for the final time here on the channel. Totally VGC. That's funny. That's a funny name. Oh boy. Um. Okay, before we, we, we give our little intro spiel, let's look at what we're going up against. It looks like there's going to be like a trick room. It, it's weird seeing Mimikyu and Glacier, not Mimikyu and Calyrex, because you can't weakness policy spam yourself. Same thing goes with like uh, the Dust Clops. It's like a weird Trick Room rain team. I don't know, man. I'm terrified. We do have the Whimsicott Encore, which is it's it's typically a good thing. Does it matter though? Wouldn't matter. Could be bad. Let's do Reiku Solgaleo for now. Bring Whimsicott. No, we should definitely leave with the Whimsicott. Let's do Solgaleo Wim. I mean, Reiku Wim. Bring Solgaleo in the back. Bring Finny? Is the Entei necessary? Against Rain, I, I can't really see a reason to bring Entei. But I just don't know if we have enough damage with just Reiku and Solgaleo by themselves. We'll bring Finny. We'll bring Finny for now. We'll try to take a little bit of advantage of the Rain. But anyway, if you guys are excited to see Solgaleo for the last time here on the channel, Go ahead, hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokey Sports if you haven't done so already because we're on a road to 10k and I honestly can't, w <laughs> I want to say I can't wait to get there at the same time I dread getting there because I'm going to be putting in a lot of pain. Me and Mike are going to do the uh, the Pocky one chip challenge once uh once we get to 10k and I I've heard nothing but horror stories about that so can't wait and I'm usually not very good with spice like I like it but I don't like that much spice you know I'll suffer. Um. Let's see what Totally VGC is going to do with their lead, though. Mimikyu Winston. Okay, so Trick Room is definitely their game plan here. I I could have led with Solgaleo and then just deleted the Whimsicott because I remove abilities. Yeah, that's not great. Okay. It's not great at all. They have Fake Out Pressure on us as well. I think what I'm going to do is just Volt Switch on the Mimikyu spot. Break its neck. Take a turn to protect here and hope them hope that the Mimikyu doesn't have mental error, but they, they always do. They always do. They always always do. As Volt Switch, I will also switch out into Solgaleo. That wasn't obvious enough. Which means I didn't really have to break the Mimikyu's neck if I'm just gonna go for the Sun Steel Strike anyway, so that's kinda my bad. But hey, you live, you learn. Here's the fake out, not happening. And it's probably going to be a trick room on that spot next turn. Hopefully they don't have mental herb. Hopefully they won't see this coming. There's a lot of hopefulness. There's hopeful necessities happening. I'm going to get the hard swap here. Go into, not the Finny, the Solgaleo. Now I have options here. I have things like close combat, things like rock slide that could be very useful this turn. There's the trick. We got to undo that trick. The incident can't lower my stats, even if it wants a parting shot here. So I think a... I think a close combat on incident is my best bet. Followed by the Encore and the Mimi. See if we can trick the Mimi into redoing its trick room. That would be amazing. I mean, this is really my only play anyway. <laughs> I can't tell when it does nothing for me here. Thankfully, like, they don't have a lot of damage on the field, so I'm pretty sure both my Pokemon are going to make it out of this turn. And even if Vincent wants to go for, like, a Flare Blitz, that'd do nothing but help me. They're going to withdraw the Mimikyu. That's unfortunate. The Trick Room's going to remain. Into the Glacier. Okay. Encore's not going to do anything. And the Instant's going to go for the Flare Blitz. Into the Solgaleo. That hurts so much. Is this an offensive ensign? What is happening? Now, part of me really does wish. I mean, hey, they could still miss their high horsepower. I mean, I kind of have to play to that. I think. I need them to miss their high horsepower. There's like no other option for me here. Except for that. 
Oh boy, here comes Kyogre. <laughs> this ain't great. This is honestly really bad. And I think uh, I think this game is gonna be a little rough. For sure. Theoretically, all I can really do is protect for now. And then pray get a Moonblast. A special attack drop? I don't know. I actually don't know what to do here in this scenario. I could switch, but I don't think that'll help. So I think for now, I'll just protect, try to stall his turn and trick room if I can. Icicle Spear onto the whim. I see how that's a problem. So they weren't even going for the high horse miss, unfortunately. Bad. That's very bad. It's all down to the high horse miss now. I'm pretty sure Finny. Yeah, I should go into Finny here. The reason I should go into Finny here is so I can at least Nature's Madness the Kyogre and lower the damage of the Water Spout a little bit. Honestly, so Galio is so important to winning. I also have to make the swap into Reiku. I can't just throw away. I can't throw away this game yet. I gotta I gotta stall at this trick room as long as I can. I feel like I have the tools to win, I'm just not able to use them. And I didn't have the right lead for this team. I'm a soul vested, so I should take this rather well. No, I don't take that rather well. Goodbye. High horse, I need you to miss! You miss when you're on my team. Okay. Oh, they're under speeding me. Oh boy. I don't know, I think I needed that Raikou to win the game. Like that Raikou was like low-key very necessary. And I was also hoping they would attack the Finny there. If I protect two more times, I think the Trick Room is up. I think they only have one more turn left of Trick Room. If Trick Room ends here, I'll be so happy to know. I think they have one more turn exactly. Yeah, okay, so this is a double protect turn. I'd be stupid not to just double protect. Next turn is, I don't even know anymore. Back in the Mimikyu they go. They're forcing me into a corner here. They're pushing me into a corner. I gotta choose. Do I attack the... Do I attack the Glacier here now? Or do I attack the Mimikyu? I think the Mimikyu is always the answer though. And I just go for Muddy Water just to hit both of them. Potentially. Glacier Protects followed by Mimikyu Trick Room is the most obvious play. Which is why I think they don't go for it. I don't think they go for it. They're thinking about it right now. But I don't I honestly don't think they could afford to lose a glacier either. Okay, good. Thank goodness, man. Okay. They shadow sneak. Oh, this might no, this won't KO me. It does KO me? Oh, uh, they're life orbed! <laughs> Why are you life orbed? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on, that's a two hit KO. I need them to miss Icicle Spear or something. I need them to get I need to get an accuracy drop here with the muddy water. I need them to miss Icicle Spear slash horsepower. Like 17 more times, maybe I have a chance. Oh, they just have wood hammer. Is this the same Mimikyu from the begin beginning of the game? This was just offensive Mimikyu the whole time? Oh boy. No, not gonna happen. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I lost the offensive Mimikyu. Uh, GG, I guess.
We're gonna start off today with a loss. That's unfortunate. But hey, that was still a very good battle. I felt like we learned a lot. Um, against Mimikyu, always bring Solgaleo. It, it, it's something that I thought of only after selecting my Mons, which was super unfortunate. But hopefully these next couple games will be better, because I don't want this team to do bad. We're currently 4-3. and three. We're cutting really even. Let's. We have to end on two more wins. If we end on two more wins, then maybe... Then we'll be, what, 6-4, and four, which is a little bit better? Kind of a straightforward rain team here. Kind of a very straightforward rain team with, like, you know, Tailwind in the beginning. Uh, I feel like we have to match the Tailwind right away. If we don't match the Tailwind, then we're going to have a world of pain. So let's just go ahead and do that with Wim. We'll go Wim. We'll go Reiku. We'll go Solgaleo in the back because the majority of the team... I mean, I guess the, if that's a darker Shifu, then we could be in a little bit of trouble there. Meh. Try not to worry about it. And we'll finish off with an Entei just so we have something for the Scizor, I guess. <laughs> I hope I don't instantly regret this. But I think the, the best play for us is to match the Tailwind and then get some damage going off on the Kyogre. When you see a Torn Ogre, expect them to bring Torn Ogre in the lead. That's typically what happens. If they don't, then just try your best to assume it's in the back. I at least want to match the Tailwind here. They do Torn Urshi. Again, I at least want to match the Tailwind here. They can't stop my Tailwind, which is all I really care about. And I get a super effective stab on their Urshi. This could be Scarf Urshi. Which isn't too serious, right? We just Volt Switch out and still Oko it. I don't think Urshi can knock us out. Nope. No Protect's happening this turn. I'm going to start off the Tailwind cycle. They're going to start off their Tailwind cycle. Nope, Tailwind. We just get the... I should have T-Bolted. I thought that would be enough. Oh, now I'm scared. I have to go into Solgaleo. Now I'm terrified. They didn't Tailwind. Why? Throwing me off guard, man. The Icy Wind instead, I guess. Mm -hmm. They can't lower Solgaleo's speed, thankfully. But now, next turn, the Wim won't be able to outspeed the uh, Urshi. I guess that makes sense. Because they could just Tailwind next turn. They went for Solgaleo anyway. Okay. Solgaleo should still be able to outspeed both of those Mons. I think this is kind of a simple rock side turn. So I'll just go for the Moonblast onto Torn. And Rock Slide. I could also Encore him. Onto Icy Wind. Which is better than them setting up Tailwind, right? So I'll Encore the Torn onto Icy Wind. And then just go for the Rock Slide. Rock Slide should be enough to kill the Urshifu, I think. I would rather have Torn going for Icy Wind on a Pokemon that can't get its stats dropped versus Tailwind, right? I'm going to take a lot of damage here with the Wim. Oh, it's not enough to knock me out. Now I need Rock Slide to double connect here, please. Does double connect. Is not enough for the Urshi. Flinch! Please. Yes! Still in this. Still in this. Okay, Moonblast down with the Torn. My Wim should still be faster than Tornadus. And then I Rock Side. Nice. Double KO. Clean KO. All right. Um, We got two, two KOs. We still have a full health Reiku in the back for their Ogre if they bring the Ogre. Moonblast was kind of a waste of turn, but it's fine. I guess Rocks I could have missed, right? So it wasn't a waste, it was kind of just the assurance. The Living Legend. Oh, that's kind of cool. And your shiny. Oh, you're totally not gen. Uh, <laughs> and it comes instant. All right. We, we just double protect, right? We double protect, stall out our own Tailwind, set it up next turn. Then we have one good hit with our Solgaleo before we go down. Yeah, let's just do this. Double Protect. Set up Tailwind again next turn. 
that Encore coming in super clutch. This is actually the first time I think I ever like successfully used Encore in a battle too. <laughs> it, it usually doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm happy that at least this time around it worked. We actually were able to use it for our advantage. Now we got options. I think. What is our play here? Our play is definitely the Tailwind. Do we just close combat the instant? Or do we rock slide to hit both of them and lower the damage output of the water spout while still being super effective damage on the instant? I, the thing is, I don't think close combat knocks out instant. So I guess the play would just be to rock slide on both and just do damage to both. While I'm on the field, I guess so. Regardless, this will be a double KO for my opponent. I just want to do as much damage as I can while I have these two bonds here. What was that? <sighs> Unfortunately, it was the Kyogre. That's the one I wanted to do damage to. Oh well. What can you do? They have Darkest Lariat too, so they do have an attack to move. I gotta go into double double beasts. I do have AV. I do outspeed. I will outspeed with both these mods. I think I have to throw everything I have into this ogre. So I just Thunderbolts, which is my highest damage output. And honestly, I should just Stone Edge, which is my highest damage output. Like stopping tantrum. The power doubles if this move. Oh, if, it, if the user's previous move fails, the power of this move doubles. So I should theoretically Stone Edge, miss, and then <laughs> and then pray. Uh, okay. Let's see how much T-Bolt does. I'm not super invested. Does ha- Whoa, okay. It does connect. So close, but their water spots can do absolutely nothing. Gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. What is Instant doing? Darkest Lariat? I don't even care. You can do that all you want. It does do a lot, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um... I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt, not on you. That'd be a waste. I'm going to Thunderbolt onto the Instant now. And then just Stomping Tantrum onto the Ogre. That should be enough to knock out Ogre. There should be a victory. I don't see a way Incineroar defeats both of the two Pokemon I have on the field. By itself. One, because Instant has like nothing for anything. It can only do Darkest Lariat until the end of time. I mean, honestly, one more after this turn will be enough to knock out my Suicune, though. So, it is doing something. But now we just keep T-Bolting. And we stop in Tantrum. That should be GG. Battle is cancelled. Good. Alright. No pressure. We got one win, one loss this episode. Um, that last one was a little bit rough. But I think our Encore saved the game by preventing their Tailwind. And just having our Tailwind up always. Let's win this last one. To say, a G. To this team battling up against g man who's running some spicy mods my dude has the kiram white age slash salazzle talon flame team yikes all right so they have tailwind that's the first thing i noticed they also have a lot of fake out support in salazzle and rillaboom do we care though like kiram is spooky and all but like so galio kind of takes over this game and that's what i'm noticing right away Let's lead Wimente, to be honest. I like the Wimente here. I like the Solgaleo in the back. And I like the Reiko in the back, too. Because Thunder... Electric moves are still pretty good here. And then we have a Soul Vest. So that, don't, that helps us with the Kyurem as well. Let's hope that this last battle with the team isn't a loss. Because I don't want it to be, you know? We already went 1-2 in, in the last episode. I don't want to go 1-2 in two again this episode, right? Let this one be a 2-1. and one. Gotta end on a win. Just like when you're streaming, you never end on a loss. I mean, I do sometimes, so. <laughs> I do sometimes. Sometimes it's impossible to win. <laughs> but I think here is definitely a pretty good opportunity for us. My opponent is running a pretty off meta team. In all reality, I also don't see a world where they bring the Aegis Slash. I don't think Aegis Slash is their win con at all. At the very least, we're scaring them. Yeah, they almost didn't make that on time. Okay, we, we brought him down to the final second. My opponent is terrified.
What are your leads, friend? I'm expecting, like, a Kyurem lead right away. Just like, why not? Talon oh, they brought Aegislash. Okay. Talonflame, Aegislash. So they want Tailwind in the beginning, but they have no way of stopping our Tailwind, which is kind of nice as well. So, hey, I'm down for this. I'm just gonna go for Tailwind, and I'm just gonna go for a Stone Edge right on this Talonflame. Get some free damage off. I could go for the Sacred Fire onto the Aegislash, but I don't want to lose my attack right away, right? I don't want them to King Shield immediately, have me lose my attack, and then me being very sad about it like they just did. At least next turn, I know I can go for a Sacred Fire somewhat safely. Here's a st Stone Edge, does connect. They don't go for Tailwind, and they have no Sash. Wild, okay. We take those. We take those to the bank. We cash them out immediately. That is beautiful. Um, what's next for my opponent? I mean, I feel like they have to bring something. Yeah, they had to bring something to deal with this Entei. That Kyurem Shiny looks so fancy. Most Kyurems have Earth Power, so this makes the most amount of sense. Um, I'm just going to Moonblast the Kyurem for now. And I'm going to take the opportunity to Sacred Fire their Aegislash. Because I should be somewhat safe to do that now. I hope it's not like weakness policy. I, like, I haven't seen Aegis Slash in so long. But I used to see it so much in like Gen 6. And that was all like all weakness policy Aegis Slashes. So it was so easy to proc weakness policy and then just sweep. What, how are we dealing with the Kyurem? I think I think the best way of dealing with this Kyurem is definitely gonna be with our Soul Galio. But we don't want to take a fire move from Kyurem either, to be entirely honest. That's some big damage with Moonblast. Don't sleep on Whimsicott. And we get the special attack drop. Hold on. My team wants to win. My team wants to win real bad. If we get the burn here. My team wants to win so bad. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Here comes the Earth Power on the Entei. Not going to be enough because of that special attack drop. It's a life orb we're learning. Aegislash is going to swap the stances go into its blade form here's a gyro ball onto the whim also probably not gonna never mind even with the burn knocks me right down to sash now age slash probably has shadow snake right we should anticipate this and we should go for protect first with the whim and we should swap moves go for the sacred fire now into the curum knock out the curum while they're trying to sa shadow snake the whim there's the Wind Protect. Let's see if they King Shield. Kyurem Protects. They could still King Shield here. Now there's the Sneaky Shadow Sneak. Onto the Entei though. Okay. Mist predicted that. We are able to live though. Oh, here's the problem. They could do it again. The good news is... Their Aegislash goes down next turn no matter what. See, I don't have to Encore. I was going to Encore, but I don't have to. So I'm just going to double down this Kyurem. Because no matter what, the Kyurem will go down this turn, and the Age of Last will go down this turn. Regardless of the way this game ends, or this turn ends, it's a double KO in my favor. Because Age of Last dies to burn, Kyurem will die to either Moonblast or Sacred Fire, I hope. Look at Entei. I love, I love a meta where Entei is good. Like, when has Entei ever been allowed to be good? Until Gen 8. This is great. They withdraw the Kyurem. Okay, so they're definitely going to go for the Shadow Snake on the Entei, is what they just told me. 100%. There's no way they don't Shadow Snake on Entei there. Yeah, there's a Shadow Snake on the Entei. Yeah, it makes sense. If you're going to switch into a Rilla Boom, you're, you're not going to leave the Entei on the field. Thing is, our Trick Room should be up somewhat soon. Not tripped in Tailwind. Which means we can just set it right back up again. Oh, but they kept the Age of Slash alive. Okay, my opponent's playing making some plays. They kept the Age of Slash alive. Very smart. Tailwind Peters. Alright. Um Solgalia we go. We have to double protect, I think. 
just cause. It, it makes the most amount of sense. We have a burn turn, we waste a turn to grassy terrain, we waste a turn to fake out. Um, and then next turn we could kind of tailwind without any worries. Beautiful. It was going to be on the Solgalia. Then they were going to Shadow Sink on the win. Okay. See, I didn't want to risk it either way. See, if that Burnt Aegis Slash only has Shadow Sneak against my Solgaleo, I don't know if I care about it. Like, yeah, the priority is going to get annoying. But I kind of want to keep it on the field. This is a Tailwind turn. This is now a uh, Sun Steel Strike turn into the Rillaboom. If Rillaboom wants to hit me with a Fake Out or a Knock Off, not a Fake Out, a uh, Horsepower or a Knock Off, I, I welcome it. Here's a Grassy Glide. Is it going to be enough to KO the Whim? Are they just going to Shadow Sneak my... I welcome this. It doesn't look like they did. What do they do? Do they have Shadow Ball or like something weird in the back? Big damage on Torilla, not enough to KO. They have the CC. Don't mind me. Don't care. So they're, that's their whole set. They're, they're King Shield, CC, Gyro Ball, Shadow Sneak. They have no Wide Guard. Not that it matters for my team. But at least we know the whole set now. The only thing Rillaboom showed us is Fake Out and Grassy Glide. But that's every single Rillaboom in existence that has those two moves. <laughs> so that doesn't really tell us anything. Not gonna lie, the, the Grassy Glide's gonna be a little bit sad for my Reiku. It's gonna do a lot of damage to Reiku before Reiku goes down here. I'm just gonna Snarl, because I want Aegis Slash to finally die. And then I'll just go for the Sun Steel Strike on Torilla. Since we know he doesn't have Wide Guard, this is like the safest Snarl ever. Besides the fact that it misses. 95%. Please don't, don't fail me. <laughs> My opponent is definitely pinned. They're going to go for the Grassy Glide onto the Reiku. It's going to do so much damage. Oh, goodness. I do connect the Snarl on both Mons. Will be enough to knock out the Aegis Slash. And then Rillaboom should go down to the Sun Steel Strike. And we have one more turn of Tailwind. But I think we Speed Tie at least with a Kyurem. I don't know my exact set. I know I should know my sets. I say this like every episode, but I should know my sets. But I don't actually know my uh, Solgaleo set. I think I'm max speed though. I might not be max attack, but I'm pretty sure I'm max speed. Yeah, I, I am 252 speed adamant though. So technically speaking, I could still lose this to Kiram White, because Kiram White is could be timid. Now Kiram White timid goes up to 161 speed. Versus my Solgaleo, which is only 149. Do I have Tailwind turns left? Oh, I have two. Okay, I win. Never mind. I was worried about nothing. I still have Tailwind turns left. I know it's not very effective, but it's my highest damage output. And let's go for the Sun Steel Strike onto Kiram. Because why not? Kiram's going to protect. It has to. It has to double protect and hope that uh, it can survive like two Thunderbolts the turn after. That's like my, my opponent's only win con is a double protect. And then. Earth power, knock out my Solgaleo. And then, oh, it, it can't even earth power my Solgaleo. My Solgaleo is still full health. I mean, they are life orb. I, this can still go either way. That's what's terrifying right now. Is that there is still a win con for my opponent, and I don't like that. Right, let's, ju let's just do this. With a double attack, we could have bulldozed. Okay, thank goodness. Like I said, that was their win con, was a double protect. Thankfully, they didn't get it. So we will be able to close off this game with a W. Close off the T with a W. That's a con that's a consolation paralysis. Not bad. Here's a Sun Steel Strike now. To finally defeat the enemy Kiram. Such an over the top animation that we don't need to see. But anyway, okay, this team it did better than it did worse, right? Like there were some good games, and the games that we lost were lost to hacks, right? So. Say what you will about this team. I feel like this team is pretty solid. It does obviously have weaknesses, 
Um, we thankfully didn't go against too many Calyrex Shadows. I could probably stick a Wide Guard user in this team somewhere just to help out with that a little bit. But with that said, let's go ahead and get you guys this rental code for the final time. And here you have the Solgaleo team. Honestly, so much fun with this team. And I think that you guys will have fun with this team as well. It does have a lot of different modes that help it synergize very well. There are some very obvious weaknesses. One of the biggest weaknesses is not having a Wide Guard user. I could probably supplement that um, somewhere. Uh, not right now with what I have, but, you know, just find a different Pokemon to stick one of these spots that have Wide Guard. But I do think the team does something right, and what it does is set up Solgaleo to sweep. Steel is a great type now. It's a great offensive type, great defensive type. It's just a great type in general. Why does Steel exist? Who knows? Um, the Tailwind support, the Encore support from the Wim help a lot. The Landorus didn't get to see too much play, but in the battles that it did see play, it was very useful for doing a lot of damage very quickly. Um, probably this Landorus is the weakest link though, but I feel like having a flying type is super necessary. So if there's like a flying type that also has wide guard that also has ground moves. I don't know if there is, but if that exists, that'd be great. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this rental code while it was out. I hope you guys did enjoy this team. I'm Kevin with Spooky Sports. If you haven't liked the video and subscribed to Spooky Sports already, then what are you doing? You should go do that. Uh, sneak peek for tomorrow's team. Keep your eye out for a certain man bear pig. There might be a team with a man bear pig on it. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, I'm Kevin with Spooky Sports. Have a great night. Peace out.